they are walking on eggshells okay they are walking on eggshells now this is a prophetic word for somebody and it's not for everybody and you must test the spirit behind every single word including mine but if this word is for you and if you are receiving this word this is not a coincidence god is reaching you now i received this word about a week ago okay and i heard the lord say eggshells and then at some point you know a few days later i heard him say they are walking on eggshells and he's bringing it back up to me now but now i understand the word and he has completed the word and it is time to release the word to you okay because right now you okay have been walking in the spirit and you have been walking in your authority okay and the people around you the people around you your friends your family your colleagues they are literally on their tippy toes trying not to be seen because the lord has been revealing to you the darkness okay you see the bible says whatever is in the darkness must come to light and as of recently you have been seeing in the spirit and you have been receiving deep revelation of these unclean spirits that have been working through you know your friends and working through your family and working through your colleagues you see The Lord has exposed hidden secrets to you. You've been able to see encounters, okay, of, you know, two people talking behind your back. You've been able to find out information that would not be, you know, accessible to you just in this physical world. The Lord has been really opening up what is in the darkness and showing you the truth behind you know these people that present themselves to be your friends but they are not your friends they are your enemies now the lord is saying they are walking on (laughs) eggshells okay because these people are starting to realize that you are seeing them for who they truly are these people are starting to realize that you're you're finding out this information that wouldn't normally be accessible to you and the lord is saying to me right now narcissist i don't know what this means okay only you're going to know what what this means but there's somebody around you that is very narcissistic and they've been able throughout your life to kind of you know control you and to um keep things from you and to work around you in order to keep you bound but in this season okay and in this present moment they are no longer able to keep you bound and they are literally walking on eggshells trying to you know hide trying to hide trying not to be seen you see there's a lot of confusion going on with the people around you they don't understand how you're finding out this information they don't understand how you're able to pull out the hidden secrets to pull out you know the the rooted the rooted lies okay that they've been hiding from you they're not able to understand how you're able to pull out this this competitive spirit and say, you know, I know that you're competing with me. I know that I know that you feel like this towards me. I know that you said that towards me. And like whoever this is for, you've been very straightforward. You've been very, you know, forward and very clear. You've you've let them know. You've let them know, okay? You see, the Lord is bringing me to um jeremiah it's it's jeremiah and it's chapter one and it's verse 10 and it says see i have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant now the lord is saying you've been rooting out you've been rooting out the darkness 
you've been rooting out the darkness from these people that are around you okay you've been rooting it out and you've been pulling it down okay and these people right now they're feeling very vulnerable they're feeling exposed they, they're literally walking on eggshells around you that they're, they're confused because you're walking in your authority for the first time in your life and they can see that you're able to root out and pull down, you know, everything that was hidden before. You see, whatever is in the darkness, it must come to light. Now, you've been very straightforward with these people and you've been very clear. You've been calling out people, okay? You've been saying, I see this. I know that you're doing this. I know that you're saying that. And the Lord is saying, okay, I've, uh, I've given you eyes to see and I've given you ears to hear. But try to slow down because these people are confused and they do not understand, okay? Listen to me. Try to slow down because these people are confused and they do not understand. You need to remember, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Not everybody is self-aware, okay, of their own mind, of their own thoughts, of their own emotions, of their own actions. And a very small amount of people in this world are aware of what is going on in the spirit. Now, these people know that you're, you're, you're finding out this information, but they do not know how. And the way that you are approaching them, they're, they're taking it like you're crazy. They're taking it like, you know, you need help. They're taking it. They, they, they do not understand. There's a lot of confusion going on. Okay, listen to me. The Lord is saying, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Okay, I am revealing these things to you so you can act accordingly, so that you can move away from the darkness, so that you can physically remove yourself from these people because he is putting you on an assignment. He is working on something with you and he is working on you. You do not need to, you know, expose them to themselves, okay? He, it's not their time. They don't understand. They don't get it. It's going to cause them to work against you. It's going to cause, you know, a delay in what the Lord is trying to do with your breakthrough. This is the thing you need to understand. It says in the Bible, right? A man's enemies will be the ones out of their own household. And it's true. You see, they're your enemies in the spirit. But they love you. And they care about you. And right now they are concerned about you because they don't understand. And the Lord is saying confusion, mind controlling spirits and witchcraft. You see, when witchcraft doesn't work on you, people will start doing witchcraft on your family. The devil will start sending witchcraft to your family, mind controlling spirits, confusion, okay? Manipulation. They're worried about you, okay? They're concerned about you. And when you're when you're so straightforward and calling them out on these things, okay, it's 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 new, it's brand new to them. It's like they don't even recognize you anymore, okay. And the Lord is saying, I am revealing these things to you so that you can see it, but you don't need to call them out. You need to slow down because they're getting very concerned, okay. And some of these people, okay, they are you you. Some of these people in your life right now, in your family, in your household, they have certain things in the physical world, okay, which keeps you in bondage. It may be your home, it may be where you live. You may live under the roof of your mother and your father, okay? And what, as soon as you start acting like this, very erratic, he's saying erratic, it's going to cause them to work against you. And it's like, there's spiritual warfare that will occur that doesn't need to occur. Pay close attention, okay? You can see what's going on in the spirit, but they can't. So act accordingly, but resist. Resist. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Don't call out the devil, 